Hi, my name is Mike Agostini, and I was on the National Public Radio uh, in New York, and that's the reason I'm doing this on YouTube, because I spoke then about uh, the use of so-called performance-enhancing drugs in sport. What a waste of public money chasing a few people who take so-called performance-enhancing drugs. Now, you could give all the performance-enhancing drugs you want. No one is going to become a champion unless they have the potential to do that. This is a hobby horse of politicians, Congress in the U.S., uh, the International Olympic Committee, the World Anti-Drugs uh, Organization. And what are they doing it for? To keep the spotlight off themselves in some instances, and in the case of the politicians, to put the spotlights on themselves looking like good blokes. Good grief. Drugs have been around forever. I was an Olympian in the 50s. I was called the world's fastest human on a couple of occasions. I'm an All-American uh, in track and field. And... I was offered drugs, I tried them, not the so-called uh, steroids, uh, performance enhancing, but amphetamines. Uh, they didn't do me much good, and I didn't like the way I felt. Now, there's a lot more going on in the world that we really need to have a close look at. Uh, I write books. I have a website, www.afterlifenews.com. And on that website, we have literally thousands of stories of the so-called paranormal and supernatural. And I think that's the biggest sport of all. You see, I'm old enough, I'm in my 70s now, and I'm old enough to face what's going on in my life and in the world. And if you think about the world right now, it is in one of the worst states it's ever been. Let's face it, the Bush administration has destroyed America. Pat Buchanan has virtually said that in his new book. America could be finished. The economy is going really, really badly. But there's much worse than that happening all around the world. And here we are chasing these silly things, performance-enhancing drugs. Good grief. I'm not in favor of the drugs, but I think there's much more that we could spend the apparent 50 million U.S. dollars that's being spent chasing these so-called drug cheats. Does it really matter what Barry Bonds took? Oh, if Marion Jones took something, good grief, Marion Jones was better than anybody by a mile. And she took drugs and beat them by more than a mile. So why don't we focus on what really is important in our world today? Like on our website, we make reference to the Mayan prediction made thousands of years ago that this era of human civilization will end. Do you know when? I'll tell you. December the 23rd, 2012, that's barely five years away from now, and I've got grandchildren, and I worry about it. Sure, there have been lots of predictions about the coming end of the world, but that's something we should be looking at. We've got global warming. I don't uh, believe in global warming. I think that what's happening is that the Earth is a living organism that is warming itself up like when we have a fever to try to get rid of the pests that inhabit it of which we humans are probably the most detrimental. But I could go on for quite a while. I might yet. The purpose of this is simply to say out there, hey, come and have a look at what could be important. Where are we headed? Uh, what next? After the so-called secret, which told everyone how to get rich and famous and popular, and that's all. If you want to think about money, just think of, what God thinks of it, if there is such a thing as a God. Look at who he gives it to. Come and visit our website. Let's have some fun. I'm going to do some of this on YouTube and on our website as well. And you're welcome to visit and also to give us your opinion. And thank you very much.